Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first session of Technology Symposium by Prominent, Asia Water 2020 virtual gold sponsor. Before we start this session today, there are a few rules that we have to adhere. All microphones and video of attendees have been muted. If you have any question, please wait for the Q&A session or do list them down at the Q&A box. If there's any internet disruption during the session, kindly be patient and try to sign in again. With that, I present to you Prominent, Asia Water 2020 virtual event gold sponsor presentation. Hi there, my name is Pam and welcome to our Prominent office. Let me show you around. Founded in 1960 in Heidelberg, Germany, Prominent GmbH is an international company present in over 60 countries worldwide. In fact, Prominent's local presence has been in Malaysia for 33 years and in Singapore for 40 years. Did you know that our founder, Professor Dr. Victor Duga, is the inventor of the world's first solenoid dosing pump in 1968? Well, since that game-changing invention, Prominent has grown to be a leader in chemical feed and water treatment systems. We have added to our manufacturing portfolio technologies like ozone generation systems, measuring and control technologies, motor dosing pumps, sensor technologies, UV systems, and many more solutions for our customers. In fact, since 2018, we are now focused on digital fluid management to meet the IoT needs of our customers. And we are so proud to celebrate our 60th anniversary in 2020. But what drives our long-term global commitment to innovation and engineering excellence? Well, it is a deep appreciation that water is scarce and is the most valuable resource on Earth. With an ever-growing global population and economy, the demand for clean water for consumption and industrial processes will keep increasing. At the same time, wastewater generated must be treated properly so as to ensure that the environment is kept secure and the natural water cycle is not disrupted or destroyed. Especially in developing countries in our region, the role of proper water and wastewater treatment is crucial. Before we go any further, let's take a closer look at this water cycle, shall we? Municipal water treatment plants treat surface or ground waters. The treated water is then supplied to housing, commercial and industrial areas. Sewage and wastewater from homes and commercial buildings are then directed to municipal sewage treatment plants for treatment. Industrial wastewater, on the other hand, is treated by factories individually. After treatment, the treated wastewater is then either discharged back to our rivers or goes through a tertiary treatment process to be recycled. As we all know, water is needed all year round, and the water cycle is essential for our countries and involves many steps and different parties. In Provenant, we believe that reliable and good quality water is needed 24 7 365, meaning that it is a requirement 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and 365 days a year. We hold this reliability in high regard and are committed to working hand-in-hand -hand with all stakeholders involved, from technicians, plant operators, contractors, engineers, process designers, consultants, and governments to ensure we play a part in ensuring our essential water is secured. But how does Prominent do this exactly? How do we combine our innovative technologies and know-how to partner with our customers globally to help overcome challenges and increase efficiencies all through the water cycle with minimum disruptions? Well, this is George, our technical manager, who will now bring you through the water cycle in detail. 
He will show you what happens at each stage and the challenges that need to be addressed. Hello everyone, let's take a look at where it all starts, at Municipal Water Treatment Plants. This process flowchart shows an example of the overall processes that occur within a municipal water treatment plant. Every orange box here shows an example of how some of our equipment are used in water treatment plants. For example, our dosing pumps in general help to dose various chemicals that are essential for an effective water treatment process in a safe and consistent manner. Here, chemicals such as lime, coagulant and fluoride require precise and accurate metering. Any deviations will cause a major upset to the plant or even worse, overdosing that could endanger public health. For now, let's focus on this portion on dry feed systems. I'm going to hand off to Jess, our sales expert, to tell you more about the challenges faced when handling dry bulk materials and the solutions that we have in overcoming them. Thank you. Hi there, have you been wondering how chemicals are being prepared in water treatment plants? In a typical water treatment plant, except chlorine gas, almost every other chemicals are prepared from solid form into liquid solution before being dosed into water. And here are the examples of solid feeding system. It can be either in a silo or a big bag. These solid feeding systems are extensively used for bulk material such as potassium permanganate, hydrated lime, polyelectrolyte, sodium silico fluoride, etc. making these systems a critical part of any treatment plants. Today, let's focus on lime feeding system as a specific example since this is the most common chemical used for pH adjustment. Being an active player in this industry for many years now, we realize a common trend of pain points faced by operators when they are handling lime. The first pain point is having arch build-ups in silos or hoppers. For instance, bridging and rat holing happen regularly. This can be sometimes due to the quality of lime supplied. The second pain point is having inaccurate dosing and unnecessary wastage of chemical leading to higher operational costs. As one of the pioneers, prominent and tall miles with 60 over years of experience in solid feeding equipment, we would now introduce you our solutions to overcome all these pain points. The first key solution to prevent arch build-up is having a good arch breaking system. This can be done either mechanically or pneumatically. Today, we are going to focus on pneumatic arch breaking system. How are they different from the conventional type? The answer lies in our air plate nozzles. Every plate is custom made to suit your applications. This ensures optimal amount of air is being pushed into the silo or hoppers to break the arch form. Our system is also designed to have a larger active area compared to the conventional type. This is for the powder to be easily discharged down to the feeder. An arch indicator is integrated into our system as well. When feeder is detected to be empty, but silo or hopper is fully loaded. A signal will be transmitted to activate the arch breaking system. Well, we have also seen that pneumatic arch breaking system running with continuous air supply. This, however, is not recommended by us as it would cause fluidization. With our experience and personalized design, we can assure you to have an arch free system. The second key solution to prevent inaccurate dosing is having our unique multi-screw feeders. Multi-screw feeders are well known for its high metering precision. When, count, when multiple screws are counter-rotating, a blocking zone can be created. This ensures an accurate, consistent and self-cleaning purposes. Secondly, we, our feeders are proven to have a linear feeding curve. With constant bulk density, the metering precision can go up to 1% to 2%. 
This enables both batch-wise and continuous processes to be controlled accurately. Last but not least, our feeders are designed to have a safe silo discharge. With the principle of first in, first out, materials will fully flooded over the active area and an arch indicator is integrated to prevent arch build up. For added flexibility, we have options for multiple dosing lines in a feeder. These are the examples. We can have either a mirror inverted or parallel orientation. With the points I have just mentioned, our feeders or and pneumatic arch breaking system can prevent arch build up in silos or hoppers and accurate dosing and no unnecessary wastage of chemical can be achieved, giving you peace of mind. Therefore, our pneumatic arch breaking system and multi-screw feeders is your reliable solutions to handle difficult chemical like lime. For further consultation, please contact us at info-myatprominent.com. Thank you. Now that we have covered this important process, let's move on to another critical area that is often overlooked. That is the area of water quality measurement and the corresponding control of dosing systems. As many of you already know, the quality of raw water pumped into water treatment plants can fluctuate quite drastically. To ensure that the water is treated properly, there is a need for constant monitoring of parameters such as pH, turbidity, free chlorine, fluoride, and then to tweak the required dosages of the chemicals as these parameters changes. This topic is fascinating and I'm happy to introduce our next engineer, CJ, to tell you more about this. Hi everyone, my name is CJ. So first of all, thank you for joining us today. Just give me a few minutes and I'm going to give you an overview of our prominent industrial measuring and control technologies. So sensor and controller are usually small and are often placed on a lower importance compared to more expensive or bigger equipments. But however, they are actually the key equipments and are often the brains in any of our control process. Just imagine if there is any failure of our sensor and controller, actually it will lead to a very, very serious consequences. Like first, undrinkable water in water treatment plants will be resulting in the plant to be shut down. Second, the industrial wastewater effluents will be unable to achieve the DOE standards which will be leading to fine pollution of our water or even worse scenario will be the plant is forced to shut down. So I believe up to here you will be questioning me one question. Why I'm using the term of a sensor and controller instead of an analyzer? So if you would like to know more, stay tuned in this video and I'm, let you, I'm going to let you know in the end of this video. So with the measurement technology, I believe accuracy is one of the most important things that you are looking at. And yet, Prominent is able to meet the most stringent requirements even in the most difficult applications. So our sensor and controller actually are widely used in a lot of uh, industry and different type of applications as well as we have various type of our controller which from a single channel up to multi-channel. Plug and play measurement and control station, we actually we do this kind of uh, station as well for our client and we customize and build for our clients. So now I'm going to bring you through one of the case study where actually prominent we are one of the ice Lango approved brands for the online water parameter monitoring analyzer in distributions. And yet we achieve almost a perfect result over a one month of periods when compared to the expensive lab test. And this is actually a remote area where this result will achieve without any human intervention. So as you can see, both graph here actually indicates the reading for our pH and chlorines as the blue line actually indicates the result given by the expensive lab test and the orange line actually indicates that the result given by our prominent controller. So as you can see, both orange and blue line actually the result are given is almost similar. So this actually proven that our prominent sensor and controller are reliable. So Prominent actually focused to be a one-stop solution provider to our customers. So actually we customize and build skit for our clients. So here come, I want to bring you to a real life example, which is case study number two, where this skit actually is built for one of the water, municipal water treatment plants, where the chlorine, pH, turbidity and fluoride are measured. And now I'm going to share with you what is the advantage of using our Prominent region measurement technology. 
The word of a reagentless measurement technology means there no continuous purchase of reagents, no high maintenance for reagent pumps, tubing, or even any extra costs for the management for a reagent discharge. Our sensor actually can lower down the operating costs and make it easier for operations. And most important thing is our prominent sensor actually is a real-time monitoring. Hence, you don't need to worry about any delay or lag issue and will cause in any inaccurate control for dosing systems. I believe up until here, I think almost the end of my presentation here. So I'm going to review to you why prominent we use a sensor and controller instead of analyzer. So prominent pride ourselves at being a one-stop solution provider for the measurements, control and dosing. And yet with our range of our dosing pump, actually we can do a closed loop control from our controller up to our metering pumps. So this will be the very last case study that I would like to share with you, which, which will be the ice lungo chlorine booster trial at one of the water reservoir. Where this is a very challenging situation as the blue line actually indicate the water flow rate and the orange line actually indicate the dosage of chlorine. The water flow can be very, very high during the peak periods and can be very, very low during the off-peak periods. Hence, it is very difficult and very hard to control the dose of chlorine level. But I'm here, I'm proud to share with you that we did it well to control the level of chlorine while only using our DACB controller, but not others PLC or PID controller. And in this example, there's even a possibility to combine this with a cloud-based solution. So actually you can monitor, store or access your data anytime and anywhere. So this means that our complete package sensor and controller solution are ready for you anytime and anywhere. So I hope I've given you a good overview and a brief idea of our prominent measurements and a control technology. And we are looking forward to serve you well in the future. Thank you. As you can see from the two videos so far, this entire treatment flow is a complex and sensitive process that requires different engineering knowledge and equipment packages all working seamlessly with one another. Who then better to design a control system for a metering pump than one who manufactures its own pumps, controllers, sensors and even water treatment systems? That is why, at Prominent, we look at the whole picture and care about every step of the process along the way. A mindset of partnership with many stakeholders is required to work together to produce high quality, reliable drinking water on a 24, 7, 365 basis without unnecessary increases in the price of water. Now that the water is treated and ready for consumption, it leaves the plant and the work is done, right? Well, no. The quality of water from these treatment plants must be maintained even in the water distribution networks before reaching its users. This is especially the case for larger countries like in Malaysia, Indonesia and Philippines. In these countries, distribution networks are often very long and the treated water is often stored in elevated tanks for an extended period of time before the water is actually consumed. In such scenarios, chlorine booster stations are needed where chlorine needs to be dosed to safeguard our water from microbial contamination before use. But this is not as simple as dosing preset levels of chlorine at each booster station, as chlorine can easily evaporate or degrade. Imagine how complex this is when these stations are often remote and can easily number in the hundreds or thousands. This is a prime example on how prominent can play an integral role. Let's now hear from Ganga, our technical expert on salt chlorine generators. She will explain how our solutions can meet the challenges in these booster station applications. Hi there, thank you for joining us on this interesting topic of chlorination. It doesn't matter whether you're running a water treatment plant or managing a distribution network. What you want to achieve is your desired water quality, lower operating costs, lower excessive reliance on manpower and minimize use of hazardous chemicals. The issue with chlorination is safety. There are two types of conventional systems being used. One is chlorine gas, the commonly used method in the market, and second is sodium hypochlorite solution, which is mostly used in booster applications. Chlorine gas is very toxic 
to human health. It is also not recommended to use chlorine gas in densely packed areas. Chlorine gas usually requires a whole lot of safety equipment and measures in place. For instance, you will require gas leak detectors, scrubbers and ventilation systems, as well as special consideration when transporting them. In some countries like in the UK and Singapore, chlorine gas is banned. In other countries like in Holland, Austria and Switzerland, it's also not quite possible to use chlorine gas because of the stringent law when transporting them. So that leads to sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite, though it's less toxic to human health, it usually imposes risk when handling it in bulk due to spillages. The other issues with chlorine sodium hypochlorite is degassing issues, which makes it difficult to control in intermittent applications like chlorine booster stations. Apart from that, chlorine gas, usually susceptible to degradation from only 12% when purchased to only 6% in just a matter of one to two weeks. The high chemical cost of sodium hypochlorite solutions is also not a very attractive solution. So what happens then to chlorine booster stations? In this case, the goal is to use as less manpower as possible while ensuring safe and reliable operations at a reasonable operating expenditure. So then the next ideal solution would be to use salt generators. Salt generator systems operate by only using three eco-friendly materials, salt, water, and electricity. It operates solely on the principle of electrolysis. The prominent chlorine C2A is a system that is able to, op to generate 0.9% concentration of free available chlorine, the highest available in the market. It only uses four kilowatt per hour per kilogram of chlorine and three kilograms of salt per kilogram chlorine, which means 50% lower operating costs as compared to when using commercially bought sodium hypochlorite solution. All of this and more in a compact modular design. It is an easy to operate plug and play system with just a touch of a screen, you are able to do the following. Initiate the generation process, adjust the generation capacity, and adjust the chemical dosing pumps. What's more, when paired with our online and measurement control systems, you are now able to automate the process as well as view real-time data at the comfort of your home. So what are the benefits of salt generator to you? Well, now you will no longer need to worry about storage of hazardous liquid chlorine, which takes up a lot of space. It is also a much safer method of chlorination. You will no longer need to consider stringent laws as well as a lot of safety equipment in the case of chlorine gas systems. The operators will also no longer need to travel to hundreds of these sites just to transport hazardous chemicals. And hence, the government can better utilize and train our manpower. And finally, salt can be stored for a long period of time. And since it is in solids and it's pure, you don't have to worry much about storage space. With our prominent complete solution, you are able to get additional benefits. For instance, our online measurement and control systems are able to communicate well with our metering pumps, ensuring that you are achieving your set points. And pH fluctuation is no longer an issue. With our online measuring and control systems, you can now compensate for pH changes in your water, ensuring that disinfections are actually taking place. 
And finally, all of this data can be stored in a SD card. Here in Prominent, we are able to provide all three types of chlorination methods. So what drives our recommendations are your needs, your installations, your goals and constraints. I hope you found this session interesting. Feel free to contact us for more details. Thank you. Oh wow, Bobby. I didn't know that the whole water treatment cycle has so many steps and different considerations. Can I ask a quick question? Ganga mentioned that the data can be recorded in SD cards for monitoring. But how are we going to access these cards with all the data? Is it possible to have access to these data from hundreds or even thousands of remote locations from a phone, tablet or a PC? That is a very good question, Pam. I will answer this question at the end of this journey. Right now, let's go back to the water cycle to discuss what happens next. After the water leaves the chlorine booster stations and water towers, it is consumed by the general public as well as large commercial and industrial users. Using industries as an example, this is a general process flow chart showing the typical steps involved in an industrial wastewater treatment plant. Again, every orange box here shows an example of how some of our equipment are used, highlighting again the prominent unique difference in providing solutions for the total flow and not just individual points. In wastewater treatment, the three most important goals are meeting stringent discharge qualities, low operating costs, and having a seamless, trouble-free system. At the end of the day, problems in a wastewater treatment plant can result in fines, plant shutdowns, environmental damage, economic consequences, negative publicity, and a bad reputation. Things that nobody can afford. At Prominent, we understand this and our reliable and accurate metering solutions provide all of the above for all your chemical dosing needs in waste water treatment plants. Reliable and accurate dosing equals meeting required regulations plus no chemical wastages. Coupled with our controllers and sensors, we are able to have complete independent measurement and control loop for the best efficiencies. Here's an interesting fact. Whether in municipal water treatment plants or industrial waste water treatment plants, you may be surprised to find out that more than 90% of problems with chemical dosing systems comes from wrong installations or setup, be it suction, vibration, leakage, sizing issues, accessories not installed properly, the list just goes on. That is why a mere supplier of pumps and components is insufficient. Let us now hear from Jordan who will share more about our fully tested, complete plug and play dosing skit solutions. Hi everyone, my name is Jordan. Thank you for joining us today. We all know about prominent signature dosing pumps. Being a pioneer in this industry, we are proud to be your trusted partners in providing you an innovative but most importantly, a reliable dosing pumps. So before I continue, let me ask you a question. Have you, have you ever encountered some of these problems before, from your side or from your customers? The scenario is this, you have purchased a dosing pump from a vendor and separately you have purchased some of these accessories like back pressure valve, pressure relief valve or dampeners from the other vendors. But when you arrive at the site, you only find out that this accessory is not suitable for your pumps. Or what about arriving on the site, you only find out that the wrong piping size has been installed. Perhaps you or your customer might be complaining that you are not able to achieve a consistent and accurate dosing rates. If you answer yes, then you are not alone because more than 90% of the problems of dosing pumps comes from the problems of installation and setup. We all know that dosing pump is only one of the major components in a dosing skit. So in order for us to have a complete dosing skit, we need all the individual components to assemble together and work with one another. So here in Prominent, we are trained to provide you a complete solution, but not just an equipment. Our Prominent standard plug and play dosing skit is the result of years of development in Prominent. You can choose different range of components and adapt the system to your requirements and to your needs.
So before I continue to show you some details of our dosing skit, let me show you the benefit of our prominent dosing pumps. The benefit of prominent smart dosing pumps, first, is auto calibration. It will indicate the flow rate in liter power in the HMI digital screen. So the operator doesn't need to do any difficult calculation for them to obtain the flow rate. They just need to do a simple, simple adjustment. Second is double layer diaphragm for the Sigma series pump. Double layer diaphragm means double layer of protection. It means that when one of the diaphragm rupture, it will prevent the medium to leak into the drive unit. Third, it's over pressure and airlock detection. Our pumps will give a warning sign when it detects the airlock and it will sh uh, shut off the pump automatically when it detects no pressure or over pressure. So this is a sample of our prominent dosing skin. As you can see, there's many different types of uh, installation or method of our prominent dosing skin. So this proves that our prominent dosing skin is highly customizable from one pump to two pumps or even to three pumps. So in the prominent dosing skin, we have a dosing pumps, a back pressure valve, a pressure relief valve, a dampener, or even a calibration column. But do you know what is the function and the usage of these accessories? For example, for back pressure valve, it's used to maintain a constant back pressure. For pressure relief valve, it's used to protect the system when there is an overpressure. For dampener, it's used to reduce the pulsation on the piping. So for all these individual component to be assembled and work with one another, a complete dosing skit is formed. So the complete dosing skit will bring you the following five benefits, which is first, to ensure the reliable performance by choosing tried and tested complete solution, and of course, to reduce the cost. Second, it's perfectly coordinated components with no integrated problems. The problem that I mentioned just now, like inaccurate dosing rate, the piping broken, or some of these wrong piping, uh, wrong piping installed, all these problems will be solved by using our prominent dosing scape. Third, it's the space saving modular design. And fourth, which is the quick turnaround times, because we have few million stock in our warehouse. And last but not least, is the easy installation. Because this dosing skit is installed as a whole system and it is always ready for operation. For this dosing skit, we can even provide you a testing and commissioning on site. So whether you are an operator, a plant manager, a plant owner, or even you are a contractor, you have too many things to worry about. So do not let this small little dosing skit be one of them. With all the components, manufacture and also assemble by our prominent, highly trained staff. Quality and also reliability is ensured from pre-sales to after-sales services. In order for us to ensure the reliability and also the quality, we, all the skid, will be undergo five-point internal FAT testing before delivery. So we hope that you find this presentation useful and we looking look forward to serve you soon. Thank you. I hope you found that video interesting. In our experience, choosing the right pump is only a small part in the giant jigsaw puzzle. And that is why we want to sell reliable solutions and partnership in practical know-how, not just equipment sales. Now, if you look again at the wastewater process flow, another big part often overlooked is the portion of sludge treatment and the important role of polymer preparation systems. Without efficient and effective polymer preparation, it would be impossible to achieve three goals described earlier, which are meeting stringent discharge regulations, low operating costs, and having a seamless, trouble-free system. Let's hear what our engineer Nazim has to share in this regard. Hi, I'm Nazim. Thank you for joining us. Today, I want to talk about the importance of proper flocculation and sludge dewatering in water and wastewater treatment. We will cover on the challenges that many operators face and how we can help to overcome them. Flocculation and sludge dewatering is a crucial process in water and wastewater treatment. It is involved in preparation and dosing of expensive polymer. If you ask any chemical engineers or plant operator, and they will tell you that managing them is like a mixture of art and scientific process. If you've done it wrongly, it could lead into serious consequences. 
when you overdosing your polymer, it will result in wastage of expensive polymer which lead into unnecessary high operating costs. Your flock particle also become fine and does not settle and it will continue to float on top of your wastewater. If they pass through a filtration system, it will clog your media filter and can cause a plant shutdown and possibly high fine. This is something that no water treatment company or factory can afford. The effect of underdosing polymer is fairly clear. Your particle or dirt inside your wastewater will not well agglomerate. This is the example of manual of improper preparation of polymer in many factories, where the proper mixing and maturation is hardly achieved. This is the result when you prepare your polymer wrongly. A clump of polymer called fish eye could lead into bad consequences. The consequences are damage to your equipment, wastage of expensive polymer, and long downtime to maintain and to clean the system. There are four important keys on how to prepare your polymer correctly. Polymer preparation needs a correct amount of powder polymer, correct amount of water, correct mixing speed, and enough maturation time. If one of these techniques was prepared wrongly, you will affect your whole wastewater treatment process. We can help you to prevent this from happen. How? Introducing our prominent Ultramed Ulfa Polymer Preparation Unit or PPU. Our PPU is designed for continuous flow and suitable to prepare your polymer from a liquid or powder form. You can prepare your polymer as low as 400 liter per hour and up to more than 12,000 liter per hour. This is an ideal solution for your polymer preparation and eliminate all the errors that we had discussed. Our polymer preparation unit provides a fully automatic operation from loading your polymer into the hopper via vacuum loader and it will automatic feed in an exact volume of water for the dilution process. It also will do automatic mixing rather to having your polymer that are ready to use. The benefit of our fully automated system is you can avoid the operational error and you can reduce the manpower or labor so that your operator can focus on other important tasks. The most importantly, we ensure that you will get a fully activated polymer for your application. Unlike any common practice, our PPU has HMI and PLC where you can fully control via PLC and easily operate it via HMI. You also can adjust your required concentration from 0.1 to 0.5%. Our design of wetting cone is our design of wetting cone to create a vortex from a double water inlet. This is for optimum dissolving of polymer. You even can add heating element to reduce a clumping and keep your powder dry. Now, I'm going to show you a video of our wetting cone in operation. Continued feeding of polymer into a vortex will create a homogeneous mixing of polymer and to prevent fish eye formation. Our PPU has three subdivided preparation tank to prevent the carryover of freshly batched polymer so that you will have a continued freshly made polymer for your application. In conclusion, at Prominent, we are fully understand that there are so many parameters and things that you need to worry when dealing with wastewater. We think that preparation of polymer should not be an added burden to you. Let us take care of your polymer preparation using our Ultramed Ulfa Polymer Preparation Unit. We are very proud that Prominent Malaysia is one of a few factory in Prominent Global Family that are able to manufacture this item, further giving you a greater value but maintaining the high German quality. Feel free to contact us if you need further information regarding our Prominent Ulfa Polymer Preparation Unit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Thank you, Nazim. In the last 30 minutes, we have tried to bring you on a journey showing our commitment to water and wastewater and have tried to show how some of our innovative technologies help overcome pain points and increase efficiencies all through the water cycle. I know some of you could still have questions regarding the challenges in doing PID control. 
such as in a water distribution tower, where water usage can fluctuate widely from peak hours to almost zero usage when everyone is asleep. There are so many considerations, parameters and information to tweak and keep track of. We know that with urbanization and increasing demands for data and quick response times, it is almost impossible to keep track of all of this manually. Remember Pam's question earlier about data access and tracking? This is where we put most of our solutions together. Prominent is now focusing on making our products IoT ready to meet the stringent and important demands of our customers for data and better response times. Our devices are now able to connect to our cloud, transmitting useful data for our customers at all times. From this platform, users can generate reports, access data from six months before, send emails and even respond in real time when there is an alarm or abnormal situation. This means that remote locations now become easy to access and our experienced technicians are able to identify anomalies from the platform and narrow down failure points to advise operators. This eases troubleshooting and downtimes, which is so very critical when it comes to water. Require 24 7 365. Despite so many fluctuating parameters, prominent engineers have been able to precisely control metering pumps to adjust itself based on the different demands at different times by studying all the data recorded by placing our devices online. No overdosage, no underdosage, only optimum dosage at all times. In this mini prominent journey, we have just highlighted some of the examples of how, with the right reliable partner and solutions, it is possible to work together to avoid long water disruptions due to poor water quality which could result in undrinkable water or even unsafe or illegal discharge of our wastewater. This is done by measuring, analyzing and controlling our water at each stage of the water cycle. With this, we are able to safeguard our water and ensure that we can continue developing our economy and country while also protecting our environment for our future generations. As a prominent family, we hold true to our global tagline ready for you anytime, anywhere. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation and we look forward to serving you soon. From our prominent family to yours, take care and stay safe. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the Q&A session. If you have any question, please click on the hand, hand raise function and the organizer will unmute you or you can list your question down on our Q&A chat box. Please make sure introduce yourself and which company are you from, followed with your question. Hello everyone, uh, thank you for viewing the video with us just now, uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't see any questions on the uh, question chat group, so um, it's okay, we'll be around for these next three days. Uh, the engineers you saw in the video are the ones that are going to be rotating and uh, answering your calls or questions and please feel free uh, to address anything that uh, you might have uh, in mind aside we also have some demo units and, and one good thing about this uh, virtual exhibition is we can actually uh, walk behind to our workshop where we make our um, uh, dosing skits our own dosing skits our own polymer preparation unit uh, we have some electrochlorination systems on hand that we can open up and show you uh, the individual components and how it operates uh, so there's a lot of possibilities, uh, so feel free to call us um, and, and, and ask us uh, any questions you might have. Um, if there's, um, I'll wait for a few more minutes. If there's any questions, I'll be happy to answer.
Okay, so um, I guess we will answer your questions when you come to us uh, individually. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, see you for the next three days. Thank you. Thank you, Joshua. We have come to end to the end of our first session today. We hope that with the today's session, all your questions have been answered. If you have any other inquiry, please visit prominent virtual book in our virtual exhibition hall. That's all from us. Once again, thank you so much.